Hey friends, this is Jen Cunnings coming to you from my YouTube channel. This is uh, week number two. Um, in my first video, I had mentioned I am resurrecting my YouTube channel. So this is the, um, the second one and I'm committing each week to bring you a little something, whether it be some energy healing, whether it be a discussion, perhaps some light language. So each week we'll have a different theme and today we are talking about creating and manifesting. So you may have written down some New Year's resolutions or you may have uh, a vision board, which I do have, and you may think like, okay, I've gotten them down and I'm good to go, right? I'm, I'm putting it down, I'm putting it out to the universe, right? And there's all these um, resources. You can read books uh, about law of attraction, you can find unteen different methods to manifesting. So we're not going to talk about that today, but I do want to share some guidance I've been getting about creating and manifesting and that it's not something you just do um, at the beginning of the year or every quarter even. Creating, as a powerful creator that you are, is all the time. You are creating in every moment. So the question to ask yourself, are you consciously being a participant in what you're creating or is it just kind of ebb and flow? Like I might pay attention or um, maybe I'll write some stuff down and then kind of go back into an unconscious mode. And so I've just been getting the message to be very mindful about what it is you're creating and to make it an active practice, a daily practice, an hourly practice. What am I creating in this moment? And what would I like to create? You know, so we have little things like, I would just like to create a day that's filled with ease and fun and connection. And then we have bigger creations. So one of mine, for instance, is I'm creating a trip to Glastonbury this year. I don't know how, but I am giving it attention. I am writing about it, I'm feeling into the experience about it, I've put it on my vision board, and so I'm in this practice of creating my trip. Now, there's also a difference between trying to really force an outcome and opening up to receiving those creations coming in from the universe. And so today, I wanna to just offer up a little bit of light language to support you in creating a conscious, consistent practice of creation, as well as opening up to receive. Because as you may know, or may not know, it is necessary for you to be in vibrational alignment so that you can bring your creations, your manifestations into fruition. And so with that practice of feeling into what you're desiring of fueling it with visions, of fueling it with emotions, you can increase your ability to be in vibrational alignment so that you can attract that in. So I'm creating the intention for this light language to not just support you in the practice of being committed to your creations, but also to be open to receive them and creating a greater ease so that you can be in vibrational alignment with what you are wanting to bring into your life. We are here to create, right? We're, we are here to be co-creators with the universe, with God, whatever that word is for you, so that we can play and we can experience and we can explore and we can have this whole diversity of experiences. You know, if you think about the energy of creation, it's about growth and expansion. So if things are feeling routine and we're doing the same thing over and over again, we're probably not creating and we're certainly not being conscious of it. So I just invite you today to be a willing participant in your life and what you're creating and perhaps carving out time daily or maybe just implementing a practice while you're driving or in your shower or even just a moment to moment awareness about when what, what, what thoughts are going through your head and um, worries or fears and what would you like to experience that might be different from that. So we're gonna just move to the light language to support you in this practice 
And um, if you haven't heard light language before, it sounds like some foreign language. It's a little funny, but what it is, is just an energy transmission. And so you just need to be open to receive. And I would also invite you to, while I, while I um, share the words with you, while I share the energy with you, to tap into what you're creating. Tap into what your manifestations are. What did you write down in the new year, if anything? And if you didn't, would you like to do so now? And um, really feel what if those creations were true for you right now, right? We hear about the act as if, what would you be experiencing? What emotions, what feelings, and what would that look like to you? So I invite you to play right now with your creations while I bring in the light language, okay? Here we go. So when you're in that space of creation, you're actually in this natural flow of the universe because the universe is always creating and expanding. So when you're in that place, you're actually creating alignment with the universe. So that's what um, just kind of came through there. So there's some more. And I'm just hearing creating from your heart, not from your mind, creating from the experience of love. And again, those bringing those feelings into your, your creation. So of course we utilize the mind to create because we're thinking about it, but allowing those creations to be um, channeled or fueled by the heart, through the heart. And just believing that your creations can be a reality, believing the power that you can wield to manifest your desires. And let's just kind of turn that heart light up. Let's turn our solar plexus, our, our strength to fuel the power of what we're desiring. And so we can bring it into our reality. You know, what if you truly believe that you have equal amount of power to create as the universe, as God, as the angels, or whatever you want to call that? What if you were, were just as powerful and would you be willing to accept that? And I'm just also kind of feeling guided to clear some energy from the heart space. So anywhere you might have um, experienced trauma, pain, or suffering as a result of your power and your creations, anywhere you're carrying that heaviness with you, we're just going to open up all those channels and clear out any karmic residue that might be holding you back from creating what you're desiring. Sorry, that's energy clearing there. All right, so I wish you many blessings in creating the life of your dreams. Um, you can listen to the light language over again to just help continue to further your support in that. And if you need any additional support, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I do virtual sessions via Zoom and my website is jencunnings.com. 
Much love to you all. Take care.